Well, the Mark UN Security Council event is going on here in the government buildings, and we've covered this before, it's great, when the uh, delegation is made up of uh, the, the uh, pupils from around the Isle of Man, and Syria, yet again, is the subject. I think that was the same as last year. Now, I've got some very high-powered delegates, Russia and also France. So we've got Alexandra and Mason. How's it been going? It's been very interesting hearing all the other views and thoughts of the other countries. Mm -hmm. And, well, I hope that we come to a resolution. And, and yeah. Syria, I mean, obviously it's a very, very difficult subject and no, has yeah. no particular way of, I mean, you know, the world is still going on all the time. Yeah. It, 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 does it bring you hope that you have some ideas what to do? Well, yes, I think um, our countries, I think our country has quite a good resolution, well, mm -hmm. planned resolution going on and really, we really hope that other, the other delegates, delegates will sort of agree with us. <laughs> Have you been interested with the, the resolution? Uh, yeah, we've obviously put forward three amendments ourselves. Um, but I think actually Russia have been quite um, forthcoming so far and more viable to work with than we previously thought they would be. Um, and so look forward to future discussions on a proposed resolution. So away from, away from that actual thing, how is this event to you two, what's it, what does it mean to you to be taking part in this? Um, well, it's really interesting. It's eye-opening to um, an actual, real event of what might happen in the UN, how they deal with it, um, how different countries' level of power varies, and how that has an impact um, on certain delegates who are involved in the council. And it, it really does just give you, I guess, a first look at. Um, how decisions in the world are made. Do you have an interest in politics? Yes, I do actually. Um, uh, I, in the future, I would like to become a diplomat uh, for, well, I guess, ironically, the US. <laughs> um, yeah, um, so I think this is quite an interesting first step for me to take to kind of experience what mm -hmm. sort of world of politics would have to offer. Which is a lot of compromise. No, no. no. Oh. In fact, I should know other, other, um, the policies of other countries. So that's a plus. Mm. Okay, so United Nations Association doing this, Alaman. It's, it's a good idea. You've enjoyed it. Yeah, definitely. I think as somebody who studies history, um, I enjoy looking at the Middle East, and I think looking at more um, recent events actually gives you a further understanding to what I've already um, detailed in the past. And for, so for me, it is really interesting to take part in. And everyone's saying, you know, with, with great gravitas. I mean, having um, the governor and the president, does that make it more important to you to have them doing their roles? Um, well, actually, the president, Steve Roden, um, is, used to be Waxy's commissioner. Mm. And I'm a Waxy man myself. Ah. Um, so I, I've had previous meetings with him in the past. But yes, it is um, nice to have been, again, uh, commerced with him. And you don't want to be an MHK, you want to be an ambassador, you guys, right? And you want to, you're, you're going off Ireland, are you, to pursue things? Yes, but interestingly, my interest doesn't actually lie with um, politics. Um, oh, right. So, but it is more of a second avenue for future development, but we'll have to see. An ambassador for the US? Hopefully in the future, somewhere around there, yes.